G'day. An F1 driver's helmet is more than just a protective device. Today it's a personality statement, an advertising platform and a talking point. There are only four manufacturers that service the 20 drivers driving in season 2023 and one of those companies services more than half of the field. And a little later on in this video, I'll give you a tour of their production facility. Let me go through the drivers one by one, starting with Max Verstappen. He wears a shoe berth helmet. He has his name in full, plus his Lion logo on the top. And what's this Player 0.0? Well, that's Heineken's gaming platform. There are a number of sponsors on his helmet. And will this helmet be the same week in, week out? No, it won't, for a number of reasons, and I'll get to those a little later on. His teammate Sergio Perez also wears a shoe berth helmet. And have a look at this design. It's done by MDM and you can see a faint ancient pattern. Maybe this is Aztec perhaps. A number of sponsors on there, yes, both private and Red Bull sponsors. On top of the helmet, you'll see the flag of Mexico and on the back, you'll find his logo along with his motto and uh, two other logos from the helmet designer and painter. He also has his home state displayed. He was appointed an ambassador for the region going back to February this year. So why would the driver's helmets change? Well, sometimes they have new sponsors come in. Sometimes they can't have certain sponsors on their helmet because of local laws. And that's a case in point with stake. And sometimes they'll change their helmet just to suit a local race, like uh, the Austin race. Charles Leclerc wears a bell helmet. And this one's designed by BS Design. And being from Monaco, his helmet uses the colors of the Monaco flag. A very large number 16. And on the rear, you can see here, he pays his respects to both his father, who died in 2017, and his friend and godfather, Jules Bianchi, who died in 2015. And on the top of the helmet is the hashtag JB17 for Jules Bianchi. And it also has one of the smallest logos that you'll see on a helmet, this HCL logo, which is a software company. His teammate is Carlos Sainz, and he also wears a bell helmet, has a number of sponsors on here. He has his name written in gold lettering, a larger number, and the colours of the Spanish flag feature prominently. How many helmets will a driver typically have at a race meeting? Well, it's at least two, and sometimes well more than that. And do they pay for them? Well, not in cash. They normally have sponsorship deals with all the companies. And when you see a shot of a driver, you can often see, say, the Bell logo sitting either side of the driver's eyes. And what's that worth to a company like Bell? Quite a lot of money, I'd suggest. Next up, George Russell, who also wears a Bell. He's uh, probably got the simplest design of all the drivers, just five sponsor logos, along with his name and his logo and number. Next up, Lewis Hamilton, who has a number of sponsor logos. Plus, obviously, all the drivers have their team somewhere written on their helmet. And a very small police logo on the tear-offs. And on the back, this year's helmet still features his Still We Rise motto. Let me introduce this chap to you. This is Michael Ormento. He is the racing manager for Bell Helmets. And Bell is the company that dominates the market. He attends almost every race, and his job is to go from team to team, organize the tear-offs for the drivers. That's those clear plastic bits that come off when they get dirty. He also tunes the helmet, and by tuning, I mean uh, if the wind is affecting a helmet in a certain way, he can attach these clear plastic spoilers which affects the wind direction over the helmet. And he invited me to go and have a look at Bell's facility, which is right next to the Bahrain International Circuit. And that's a helmet shell. And what does an F1 helmet sell for? Around 5,000 euros. And how long does it take to make? Well, normally around seven days, but you might remember when George had to step in for Lewis, when Lewis got COVID, they made George's helmet in a day. 
Impressive facility, huh? Next up, let's look at the Alpine drivers and Esteban Ocon wears a bell. It's the darkest of all the helmets, and it's pretty simple. Just three sponsors on there, Castrol, Binance, and BWT, apart from the team name and the helmet manufacturer. And he has his number and signature on there. And he actually explained his signature to me uh, when I recently did my signed print collaboration with him. And if you love Esteban and you'd like to have this particular picture in your office or in your home, signed by the great man, simply get onto kimillman.com. There are some left as we speak. There's also some Pierre Gasly prints there too. Pierre wears a bell helmet with four team sponsors, two private sponsors, and a French flag along with a couple of other things. And of course his logo prominently and the hashtag Gas10. Let's move on to the Williams drivers and bell helmets for both of them. With Logan Sargent, he features his signature with his number and the American flag. Just two team sponsors and the actual painting of Logan's helmet is done in Finland. Let's move on to Alex Albon. He has the colors of the Thai flag. And the interesting thing here is this graphic on the back is the symbol for nine in Thai. And he has it in honor of a king who was the ninth monarch of the Chakri dynasty. He was well loved apparently, very popular king, and Alex wanted to show his respect by having this symbol on his helmet. It's been there from the start of his F1 career. And how does one paint a helmet? Well, this is Massimo Dante from Mad 56. He painted Alex's helmet, and it's a pretty impressive process that these guys go to to get their helmets in shipshape condition. McLaren drivers, yes, Lando Norris wears a bell. Very similar to last year, uh, the number four, British flag, a lion, four sponsors on the front. And on the rear, you'll see a uh, logo here for FAI, that's a private jet company, along with his management, his trainer, and his helmet designer. Oh, and LN4 Cart gets a mention, along with a mental health charity called Mind, whose president, incidentally, is Stephen Fry, well-known British comic. Oscar Piastri, I must admit, I was somewhat confused by the double logo on Oscar Piastri's helmet when I first saw it. Turns out they're a cloud call recording and voice AI company. His helmet features the Australian flag, and for the Australian race, he actually added a g'day mate and a cool boxing kangaroo on his helmet. What about Lance Stroll? What's he wearing? Well, uh, very similar colours to the Aston Martin green and uh, a little silver wing type effect here. Oh, and the maple leaf on the top. His teammate, Fernando Alonso, has probably the most logos on a helmet that I've seen this year. 14, a number of team sponsors, obviously, and then a handful of private sponsors, the likes of Kimoa, which is his own company. He's a director. EMC Jets, they fly him around, and Sunreef Yachts, which I'm sure he enjoys spending some time on. Sé que estoy en el yate adecuado. Six drivers to go, and let's have a look at Zhou Guan Yu's helmet. A handful of sponsors, and this is his name in Chinese on the side of the helmet. And I had to do some research on this one. This is a cute rabbit drinking boboa milk. Oh, and it also features the Bund Skyline, which is the major thoroughfare in Shanghai. Let's move on to Valtteri Bottas. He wears a Stillo helmet, and I loved his mullet helmet, which was one of a few designs he's used this year. In Australia, he had a different design, which featured some Australian indigenous art. Four drivers to go now. Let's look at Kevin Magnussen. He has his name big on both sides of the helmet, as does the Hulk, who wears a Schuberth helmet, a huge number 27 and his name. And this year he has a brand new sponsor, Heinemann, which is the duty-free company. Just two drivers to go, and they both wear bell helmets. Both drive for Alpha Tauri, so let's go with Yuki with this lovely autumn leaves design. He has his designer's name on the rear of his helmet and Orlin and Honda are the only companies featured on his helmet apart from obviously Alpha Tauri and Red Bull. And finally, Nick De Vries, and if you look closely here on his bell helmet, uh, these hearts caught my eye, but they're not hearts. No, they are indeed leaves of a Dutch water lily that features on the flag from the province Nick comes from. <laughs> You know a lot more about the F1 driver's helmets than when you started this video, I'm certain. I thank you for getting through to the end. If you've liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so, and remember you can become a member for a host of extras. You'll find all of my digital images at ProStarPix.com, wall art, F1 driver photo books, signed prints, and a range of merchandise at KimElman.com. And for my best images live from the track and all during the week, Go to Instagram and search at Kim Illman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate.
It's the dark. Oh, shut up. 